Folks, so uh, in this video, we are going to look at um, the reversal of a linked list using recursion. So uh, just to put some, uh, just to give some context here, let's just draw one example of a singly, singly linked list. So let's say this is my uh, first node, which is my head, and uh, let's have this point maybe at one more node. Let's have let's have a linked list of three three nodes here. Okay, so uh, this is my third element, and uh, that points at none. I've got my head over here, so this is my one linked list. And let's just give some values here. So let's say this is my one, two, and three. Now, my question here is write me a function that will actually do a reversal of this linked list using recursion. So my new picture, my new picture is going to look like uh, is going to look like something of this kind, where I still have my linked list of three nodes, okay, and I'm still going to have my actual values in there as three, two, and one. Now the only difference is that this node over here is going to point at my node two, and node two points at node one and one points at none. The head, the head of my, of my linked list is going to point at, at the node three. Okay, so given this, given this linked list, write me a function that actually, actually does this. Okay, so how am I going to, how am I going to put my solution together here? So let's, let's, let's write a solution here. And uh, in my solution, I'm going to say that, um, this is going to be a function, it's going to be a function, and let's call this function as reverse, reverse list. So let's say reverse, reverse L, just for short right now, reverse L, that takes in, that takes in the head of my linked list that needs to be reversed, okay? And I'm going to pass in, I'm going to pass in a second parameter, which is a previous node, which is initially set to none, okay? So, what does what does the second parameter previous do? So think of the second parameter previous as a reference to that node, which is which happens to be one behind the head. Okay. So as an example, if this is my linked list right here, and if head if head is pointing at the first node of my linked list, head in this case head in this case is going to be pointing at sorry, previous in this case, previous in this case is going to be pointing at, at, at none. Okay, so previous as an intuition, just keep this in mind, is just a reference pointing at that node of my link list, which just happens to be one behind the head. Okay, so how am I going to, how am I going to, um, uh, put this solution together. So let's think about a case. Let's think about a case where I'm dealing with a linked list. So I'm dealing with a link linked list that just is an empty linked list, meaning head is pointing at none. If head is pointing at none, if I have my head, if my head is pointing at none, what am I going to return back here? If this function reverse list is supposed to return back the head of the reversal of my link list, if my original link list to begin with is actually none, I'm just going to return back, I'm just going to return back in this case, in this case, none. Okay. If head is none, return back none. Otherwise, otherwise, if I'm dealing with a link list, if I'm dealing with a link list where head is actually pointing at a node, just one node, something like this. What is the reversal of this linked list? Well, the reversal of linked list, the reversal of this linked list is just that linked list to begin with. So in this case, if I'm dealing with a case where head, now again, I'm just breaking this up a little bit further just to clarify my base cases of my recursion here. So if head is none, written back none, if head dot next is none, Okay, so if head.next is none, if head.next is none, meaning I'm dealing with this case over here, 
Then I'm just going to propose, I'm just going to propose here this type head dot next should just equal to whatever previous is and return return head. Okay, so what does this mean here? If this is where head is pointing at, where is previous pointing at? Previous initially is always pointing at none. Previous is pointing at none. If previous is pointing at none, head dot net equals to previous, meaning this entire thing. If this entire thing over here is, uh, uh, if this entire thing over here is head, then head dot net equals to previous. Meaning this is still going to point, this is still going to point at wherever previous is pointing at, and if previous is pointing at none, if previous is pointing at none, then I've got my head dot next also pointing at none. Okay, and I'm just going to turn back whatever head is. Okay, so I've taken care of the list, I've taken care of that list where it happens to be empty. That's my case one. Case one is handled by this picture. By this piece of the code, if head is none. Case two is this piece of my linked list. Is this piece of my linked list where head is actually pointing at just one node of my linked list? Okay. So this is my this is my code for piece two that takes care of it. What if now head? What if head is actually pointing at that linked list where I have more than one node? If I have more than one node, then my code, the rest of the code. Is going to be as follows. I'm going to say, let's create a local variable walk, a local reference walk here. That's going to equal to, it's going to equal to wherever head is pointing at. Okay. So given this picture here, given this picture, what is walk going to be? Well, walk equals to head. If head is pointing at this entire node, walk is going to be pointing at that node as well. That's what I'm going to say, walk equals to head. Then we'll say head equals to, head equals to head dot next. If head is pointing to the first node, head dot next is pointing at the second node. So head is not going to be equal to to this second node there. Okay, and now if I say walk dot next equals to previous. If walk is pointing at this node over here, walk dot next equals to previous, meaning walk dot next, walk dot next is this reference right there in green. And I'm saying walk dot next equals to previous. If previous is pointing at none, if previous is pointing at none, walk dot next is now going to point at none. Okay, so what have I done here? What I'm saying here is that given this entire linked list in pink, I'm just going to write that piece of the code here, that piece of the code here that will do a reversal, that will do a reversal on the very first node of my linked list. I've already done the reversal right there. I having one, the, 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 the node, with the element one is now pointing at none, meaning I've taken care of this picture right here. If I look at this node here, the next of this is actually pointing at, at none. I've taken care of this picture here. What is remaining to be reversed now? But what is remaining to be reversed is this piece that is in this cloud here. This entire thing is remaining to be done. Okay, this piece is done. This piece is done and this in, 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 in red here, as a question mark, this entire thing in red there is what remains to be done. So how do I how do I reverse this entire thing in this in this in this in this in this cloud which happens to be in this green green thing? I'm just going to say I'm just going to set this point. I'm just going to set this point as return 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 reverse. Reverse list. I'm just going to call my function again. Reverse list. I'm just going to say reverse list on whatever is remaining. What is remaining here? Well, if this piece has been taken care of, what remains is this piece of the linked list. This piece of the linked list, which is being referred to by referred to by head. So I'm going to pass in my first parameter head. What is the second parameter going to be? The second parameter over here is previous. What is previous here? 
What is that pointer that happens to point at one node before head? The pointer that happens to point at one node before head in this case is actually walk. I'm going to pass in, I'm going to pass in walk there. Okay. So so this this is this is the actual code. This is the actual code that takes care of a reversal of a linked list using using a recursion. Okay, now let's do this. I want to show you this actual code in Python. Okay, so I'm just going to open up my Python Python shell here. And um, in my Python shell, what I have here is uh, I'm first going to create a linked list. I'm just going to create a linked list here. So uh, just to let me put up my drawing repeat here and um, let's do this. First thing, I'm creating a linked list. Okay, this piece, this, this, this code over here, this entire code over here in blue is the creation of a linked list. Okay, I'm just using the class node from our lecture slide. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a linked list. The head is pointing at the node with the element one that points at the new node with the element two then two points at the node with three, and three points at the node four, and four eventually points at nine. Okay, that is what this code does. This is what the code does. How, how does it create a linked list? How does it create a single linked list? Because the constructor for the node, the constructor for the node takes in two parameters. The two parameters are right here. It takes in, it takes in the element, and it takes in a reference, a reference, the next reference to the uh, is basically the next reference to the next node of my linked list and all the constructor does it just sets the instance variables element and next to whatever is being passed in e and n okay so with that with that code what i've done here is i've created a linked list i've created a linked list and then i'm calling the reverse list i'm calling the reverse list in this case reverse list on the head of my linked list that needs to be reversed and I'm passing in previous, I'm assigning previous initially in this case to none. Okay, so even if I were not to pass this, I was not to pass this, previous in this case is actually none. So let's do this. Let's just let's just debug this code. Let's just make sure this is actually correct. I'm going to put a breakpoint. I'm going to put a breakpoint right there. And um, on this, I'm just going to I'm just going to debug my my reverse list here. And uh, what we're going to see at this point is um, what you're going to see at this point is the uh, we're going to see my linked list head, which is actually pointing at one, and then the next, the next of that node one is pointing at two, and the next of node two is pointing at three, and the next of node three is pointing at four, and finally, the next of node four is pointing at none. So that's the actual linked list here, and this is this allows us to visualize. This allows us to visualize. The actual linked list that was created. This is a linked list that was created in this piece of the code right right there. Okay, so this piece of the code that was created earlier is the creation of my of my linked list. Once I've got my linked list created, once I've got my linked list created, I'm going to call it reverse list. And this is the piece where the reverse list gets gets called. Okay, let's see what's going on in the reverse list method. So if I were to step into the code, if I were to step into the code here. Okay, keep keep a track of my stack frames. This is where my stack frames are. If you keep a track of your stack frames, okay, this is the very first time reverse list has been called. The very first time a reverse list is called, what is my head here? Head is basically right here. Head is referring to head is referring to my node node one. This head none. Head is not none. So this is going to this is going to be false. Okay, so if I do a step over, that's false. This head dot next none. Head dot next is also not none, meaning that is false. If that is false, it's going to come to a point where I'm going to say walk equals to head. Walk is a local variable because the local variable it gets created within the stack frame of this reverse list. So at this point, when I want to step over, I'm going to have walk a local variable walk created which just points at wherever head is pointing at. So in this case, if head is pointing at node one walk is pointing at node one what am i doing to head now head equals to head dot next at which point head is going to point at node two walk is still pointing at node one okay and then i'm going to say walk dot next equals to previous meaning that 
Originally, walk.next was pointing at node 2. Now, walk.next is going to point at wherever previous was pointing, and previous was pointing at none, and walk.next is also going to point at none. Okay, so I've taken care of reversing a small portion of my linked list. What still remains to be reversed, a smaller problem, a smaller problem that remains to be reversed is that portion of the linked list that is being represented by head. Look at head here. Head still points at 2 and starting from node 2 till the end of my linked list is that portion of the linked list that needs to be reversed, that still remains to be reversed. Moment you get that entire linked list reversed, the head of that reversal is also going to be the head of the linked list that is represented by, by my original problem that I started with, in this case, this head referring to node 1. So let's just do this. Let's just step into the function again. If I were to step into reverse list again, what's going to happen is, first thing that happens over here is, uh, um, I'm going to see a new stack frame. This is this was my original stack frame that got created earlier. This is my second stack frame. Okay, that's my first stack frame. This is my second stack frame right here. And in the second stack frame, what I have here is head is referring to two. Both of these conditions are still false here. And because the conditions are false, when I do a step over, I'm going to have walk equals to head and head equals to head dot next get executed. Okay, I do a small I do a small reversal on this on this on this portion here. At which point, at which point, I'm now ready to call recursion again on that smaller link list that remains to be reversed. Okay, and keep in, keep this in mind. Walk is always one reference behind head. If head, if head is referring to three, walk is referring to two. Okay, and when the function reverse list gets called again, previous previous is set to whatever walk is. So if I step into this, if I step into this again, okay, at which point head is referring to three, okay, so this condition is definitely false, head is not none. Head.next is also not none because head.next refers to node four. So I do walk equals to head, head equals to head.next, walk.next equals to previous. But before I call my function, before I call my recursion again, keep this in mind that what I have now are three stack frames created. These are my three stack frames of my recursion. One, two, and three. I've got three of my stack frames over here. Okay. And uh, I'm going to call reverse this again, meaning I'm going to create a fourth stack frame. So if I were to step into this code, if I were to step into this code here at this point, my fourth stack frame reverse this got created. At which point I can see that the net of the node four is none, meaning this condition this condition becomes true when this condition becomes true let's see what happens so head dot next is none is true at which point head dot next equals to previous okay and i'm just going to return back head when i return back head what is it that's going to happen here what is head here head is referring to node 4 okay that makes sense because if the entire list that i started originally if this was my list that I started with. If this was the list that I started with, okay, if this was a list that I originally started with, then the reversal of this list, the reversal of this list is going to look like, it's going to look like, it's going to be, in this case, uh, that's four, this is three, this is two, this is one, that points over there, this points over here, this points over here, Head is something that points to this to, to, to the node four, and over here this points at at none. Let's see if that's actually holding true here. What is head referring to? Head is referring to node four. That makes sense. Head is something that must refer to node four when the linked list has been has been reversed. What should the next of four refer to? The next of four should refer to refer to the node three. Let's see if that holds here. The next the next refers to node three. At which point the next of that should refer to node 2 and the the next of node 2 should refer to node 1 and the next of node 1 should refer to none. So I've got my entire linked list reverse. What is it that remains here? The only thing that remains here is that whatever head is, whatever head is at this point 
just take that head, return it back to the previous stack frame, make that stack frame turn back the head again, make that stack frame turn back the head again, and make that head get returned finally back to the main function. Meaning at this point, this point head, the moment it comes to the main block, the moment it comes to the main block, which is right here, this is my main block. The moment just the moment this starts to unwind, the moment this starts to unwind, head head is something that should get get should get returned all the way down to the main block and then in the main block whichever function originally called reverse list in the first place now has this head referring to the new to this to this to this to this linked list which is the reversal of the original linked list that got started right here so let's let's just look at the code that as it starts to unwind when i say return head here where does this go to where does this method return to this method returns to whichever method that called reverse list in the first place. Who called reverse list in the first place here? I'm currently, I'm currently executing, I'm currently executing this particular stack frame. When I say return, I'm going to return back to the previous stack frame, which is right there. Okay, and what am I returning there? I'm returning back head. So whatever is head in this region, whatever is head over here gets returned to the previous stack frame. So if I were to do at this point, stack frame this this specific this text this specific stack frame gets taken off from my stack because it just got popped up and the head is going to get returned over there so let's see that let's just make sure that after the return i'm just going to have one two and three of these reverse list functions on my stack because the 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 the, the fourth one is going to get removed so if i do a step over here Okay, if I do a step over here, I've got three of my reverse list, right? The fourth reverse list got removed. The return comes back to wherever the function was called, meaning it comes back to this return statement. What is going to happen here? At this point, I'm just going to return back again because the return gets executed. When this return gets executed, so let's just put this in red just so that we understand this. When this return gets executed, I'm going to take whatever is this portion, which was the head that I got back from the outer reverse reverse list method. I'm just going to return back. I'm just going to return back to the previous stack frame, and that keeps on happening. That keeps on happening until I hit until I hit the main function. So I'm just going to do once more reverse. That's the return statement. Again, if I do return, you see that this gets this gets each of these methods once the return gets taken off from my stack frame. And finally, finally, it comes back to my main method, at which point, if I would just do one step over, I can see that whatever this head is, whatever this head is now, is going to be pointing at the reversal of my linked list. So head in this case is pointing at four. The next of four is pointing at node three. The next of node three is pointing at two. And the next of node two is pointing at one. And the next of node one is pointing at none. 